to say but i have this dream right inside of me i'm gonna let it show it's time to let you know it's about you know this is a real Welcome to my channel. So today I just kind of wanted, <clears throat> excuse me, today I just kind of wanted to catch you guys up in what's been going on in my life and um, tell you about my journey of moving here to Minnesota. So if you guys watched the real reason why I moved to Minnesota in my other video, you'll kind of be up to date for this one. Um, so now that I have been here, oh my gosh, the winters have been horrible absolutely horrible and if you want to um, know what I'm talking about we have been so cold this particular winter which was 2018 that temperatures got to negative 52 do you know what negative 52 means Uh, first and foremost, a hearty aloha from sunny Minnesota. The current air temperature is negative 24 degrees. For our Canadian viewers who want to know the Celsius equivalent, it's probably negative. Holy crap, it is so <laughs> cold. It was crazy, crazy. I've had roof tiles falling off my house, siding shrinking. I'm not even sure if my insurance will cover it. I'm hoping joys of home ownership. <laughs> um, but I've had some crazy things happening and negative 52 is insane. People's pipes were freezing. Uh, it was uh, when they predicted that that was gonna happen that week was everybody was just almost somewhat in a panic just trying to prep for it and we made it through but let me show you what happens when temperatures are negative I'm gonna insert that right now it's like negative 12 outside and we tried this trick where we boiled the water we're gonna throw it outside and it's supposed to evaporate because it's so cold let's see if it works real watch out he's gonna don't do it too far and it worked. It turned into a cloud. That's oh, we kill, we will, we. I'm frozen through and through. My nose is red and my tail is tall. Ha, he, ha, choo. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did you see that? That's insane, right? The water just poof, turns into clouds, evaporates. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. So, needless to say, I've been miserable. I um, just, goodness gracious. I've, it was, it's been such an adjustment. And here, the crazy thing about Minnesota too is, if you wanna know kind of about what the culture further, deeper, socially is like, um, you can, I, I, like I grew up here. So if you grow up here, a lot of times you have friends from kindergarten on up and they stay friends through college and everything. People never leave for college really. I'm not gonna say everybody. This doesn't apply to everybody what I'm about to say by the way. 
but most people don't leave. They stay here, their families are here, they've been here for generations from Norway, Germany, whatever, and they just don't leave. So, um, for me, I've had friends for 14, 15 years plus, but once you do leave and you start a new life, we kept in contact through social media. I'm really good at keeping in contact with people. You guys who are far away know that. Um, I'm very good at keeping in contact with people, but when I came back, it was almost like, you know, life kept moving on. I was kind of out of the group, you want to say, if there was a group. Um, yeah, it just, it wasn't the same. So I came here and after I um, tried, dabbled in dating a little bit, and then I have been alone with my children, I've done a lot of things with the kids. I mean, and in negative temperatures, all you can really do is a lot of indoor things. So we've been to like every indoor park, the Mall of America a hundred times, which you also have seen the video on that. Um, we've done everything, baking like crazy, and it just gets old after a while. So I needed to find something for me. I love doing outdoor things, hiking, no, I'm not a biker, but I like biking. <laughs> I like trying everything at least once. So anything you can do outside, I love it. I've always wanted to try paddle boarding. I think maybe I'll try that here this summer. But in Florida, there's a lot of gators. So I couldn't really do that then. But yeah, I like doing outdoor things, so it was really tough for me. So I say when you're in a new city or a new state, the way that I have found friends, I've now done it when I lived in Texas, when I lived in Florida, and now that I'm back in Minnesota, I didn't think I'd need to do that here, but apparently I did. So there is a website, this is not sponsored in any way by this website, but this is just my personal um, experience. There was a website called meetup.com. It's a website where there is someone who can host groups, and they're usually local. Um, but you can look anywhere in the world. So even if you're visiting a city for a day, you could probably look and join an event or meet some people. So that was, it's really nice. You can find anything you're into. There's hiking groups, chess club groups, movie groups, um, people who just like to discuss politics or religion or play cards or people who have kids, people who don't have kids, people that are single or married. There's literally a group for everyone. And the bigger the city, obviously the more meetup groups they're gonna be available, but in Minnesota, I felt like there were a few, but the one that I gravitated towards were, it was called Transplants. It's a group of people who are not from here, which I kind of feel like I'm not anymore because I've kind of been booted. <laughs> but for a people, a group of people that are not from here that have moved here for work or other various reasons and they're just looking to socialize and get out of the house, they have literally been a lifesaver for me. I felt like I was so depressed. I was going through so much and uh, a huge weight was lifted finding them. So thank you to my meetup group. Um, love you guys, but we have literally shared everything. I mean, I guess it is what you make of it, but this group is amazing. We all come from different backgrounds and things, but just love having a good time. We respect each other, and we've actually gotten to know each other quite a bit. I'm going to insert some clips of us hanging out, so here you go. Transplants in Minneapolis. Everybody say hello. Hello. I can't appear on a video I've been wanted in many cities. You're <laughs> oh, Okay, she just let it Oh! That does not look right. Good morning! So, this weekend is... St. Patrick's Day weekend. <laughs> I have no colors left here. Have you ever had twins? So the data is aligning that. Way. <laughs> I've heard this from other groups. Like, and oh my god. Farmers, plants, taro, farmers, they're all around the bush. Around the bush. <laughs> <laughs> 
So see, they're amazing. So yeah, I really met some really cool friends. Um, I can tell we're gonna be friends for a really long time. They're all very unique and bring so much to the table. We just have a blast. Um, but even in Florida, I met people from meetup groups. They ended up being some of my lifelong best friends. Um, in Texas, same thing. There are quite a few that I still keep in contact with on a regular basis and I consider them close friends. So I have personally felt finding that niche or things that you like to do, whether it's being an introvert, there's actually a group called introverts. So even if you're just an introvert, but every once in a blue moon you like to get out, um, there's groups like that as well. And I feel like um, when you're in a new city, it's really hard to meet people. Uh, at work, you can meet people, but I usually don't seem to socialize with people at work outside of work not anything personal it's just usually we see each other all day and they have families and they have their own friends and I'm not invited to the to the cabin okay so I gotta tell you guys about that somebody in the new transplant group <laughs> he was he's hilarious he told this story about not being invited to the cabin now let me explain that to you here in Minnesota you know home of North Woods People in the summertime, their big thing that they talk about, the one exciting thing they talk about every weekend in the summer is, I'm going up north to the cabin. And they usually say north, I'm going up north to the cabin. <laughs> but they go up north to their cabins every single weekend. And it's usually where they invite their friend, their family, extended family as well. And every once in a blue while, like their closest of the close friends, but it's very rare. It's usually just a family thing. Um, sometimes they take week-long vacations. They spend holidays up there. But you are never really invited to the cabin. Let's just say that. If you don't have a cabin, you're never really invited to the cabin. <laughs> so there was a guy in the transplant group who's from uh, California, and he actually said um, he felt that way. Like everybody is super friendly at work. Um, everybody is completely acts like we're friends and everything but then when it comes down to it they go to the cabin he's never invited <laughs> or if there's holidays that's one thing holiday celebrations Christmas Thanksgiving I was in Florida Texas there were so many people that are like of course they have their family there but they're like we're cooking plenty come on over come to the barbecue come hang out grab a plate bring some of your foods over very social, very warm and welcoming. It's not that way in Minnesota. No, it's not. So, um, yeah, you celebrate holidays alone. <laughs> because, like I said, they've been here for generations and they only hang out with their families. So it's really hard in places like here to find a group of friends. So that's why I felt um, finding friends that were also from other places was really helpful. He also described uh, the culture. It was so funny. I hope I can say it the way he said it. But he said he felt like in New York, someone, now this is a f just, you know, um, just analogies. But in New York, someone could stab you <laughs> in the stomach right in front of your face and just like say, F you, right? Whereas in California, they may stab you and then say, or I think he said stab you in the back, and then laugh and say, oh, I'm really sorry I did that. Uh, <laughs> but um, 
in the Midwest or in Minnesota, he felt like they'll stab you in the back where you can't see them. And then they put their hands up and say, it wasn't me. I don't know. I don't know who did that. I don't know who stabbed you. <laughs> and I thought it was hilarious because that can't be more true. People here do a lot of dirt behind your back. Um, whether it's in politics or whatever beliefs because they're very nice they're nice to your face but um they do of course have opinions like everybody does everybody's entitled to their opinion um, but they may vote or do something behind your back and deny 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 um it's kind of a closed off uh culture is what i want to say but if you come here, everybody is completely friendly to you. It's not like you're going to go down the street and people are going to be mean or rude. Everybody's friendly to your face. Um, you might meet that family somewhere out there that is warm and receptive to having newcomers come around, but uh, not usually. It's not the overall culture here. So in case you are in a place that is similar to that, don't feel like you will never find anyone to hang out with. I feel also everywhere I've lived, it takes a good two years of trying very hard to have your routine, work, have a place to live, and to try to find real friends before I find really good friends. It's usually about two years before I can find, say that I have true, true friends and this is home. So when you live in a place, I say give it at least two years before you make a real um, judgment and I think you know what I'm gonna also do for you guys that are interested in moving to Minnesota is I think I'm gonna do some videos too where I kind of drive through the neighborhood so you can kind of see and get a feel of what it what it's like here if you're considering moving here it's not all bad but I say for you to make really good friends here and other places it may take two years if they're natives to the area here if you're trying to make friends with natives or locals, I would say like closer to 10 years. I'm not even joking. They just don't let newcomers come in that easily. Um, like I said, they've been friends with people since infancy, so they're a little skeptical on newcomers. Another thing real quick before I let you go, um, another person from Texas in the transplant group, she mentioned that um, she's an adult woman and she had a condo downtown and she was so excited there were some locals that seemed to hang out kind of like the show friends if you don't know what friends is which what rock have you been living under but if you don't know what friends is look it up it's literally people that live in the same building or and they've been friends for a while and they all hang out together 24 7 and she said it was similar to that she was so excited coming from texas where she had a ton of friends um to be able to be in maybe included in something like that This is Minnesota. <laughs> so she went down and started hanging out with them. And at first they were very nice to her, but she has a Texas personality. She's big, she's friendly. She, um, she's awesome, guys. I can't say enough good things about her. But that Texas personality clashed with the Minnesota women in that group. Um, here in Minnesota, it's not really polite, culturally or socially to um, talk about yourself or talk out loud or it's kind of more you're you're supposed to kind of come to a group and be more reserved is my opinion and things that I've gone through you kind of come more reserved and when they ask you questions is when you speak you don't have a big personality where it's like you're taking over the show they don't like that you will be outcast really quickly so she brought that awesome Texas personality in and she's a host so she is just, um, if she's in a room, it lights up. She is amazing, but it did not work with that group. They started to outcast her, stop inviting her places. It was really hurtful. It kind of sounded a lot like high school, but um, she was not invited to things that she was usually invited to. And she'd go downstairs and see that they were still hanging out, but it was kind of awkward when she was around. They didn't want her there anymore. So she decided to help host this transplant meetup group which couldn't have been a better option anyways she needs to host we accept her she is awesome but that also goes into play with the work environment if you're in a meeting the things i've noticed from the east coast to the midwest here in minnesota in particular 
is in the East Coast, you speak up. You even participate, <laughs> even if you don't have much to say, you participate to show that you are in it, you're engaged. Here in Minnesota, you don't speak unless you have something really to contribute or, you know, if you're asked something. And if you are a person that talks during the whole meeting, people will tend to get a little annoyed and feel like you are bombarding the entire meeting, taking it over. Um, so yeah, that is kind of, that's kind of updates of what's been going on with my life here so far. Um, I am going to be taking the girls maple syruping today, can you believe it? So I'm going to vlog that and soon we will be taking a trip which I'll also vlog so stay tuned and watch. If you agree with some of these things or have experienced some of these things, give a like, um, comment below. If you've enjoyed this video, comment below. Um, if you disagree with anything I've said, comment below. I really like being engaged and I try to make sure I comment and reply to every person that says anything. So thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share. And for more video content like this, subscribe. Bye.